Thank you for choosing the SNL Fan Podcast, and I'm your host, just some guy named Jay, and in this installment of the SNL Fan Podcast, what I want to talk about is uh, I want to talk about Jay Moore's podcast, but before I do that, I want to give a shout out. I want to give a shout out to Rhyme Scheme. Rhyme Scheme is an up-and-coming uh, California-based hip-hop recording artist. He has some hot singles out right now. Uh, one of his singles is called Four Letters, and I'll put the uh, music video to Four Letters in the information box below so you can check it out. Uh, Rhyme Scheme brings back that traditional golden era, golden age, boom-bap hip-hop, and, um, and, he, and you know he's, he has some real dope material, so definitely check him out. Um, even though he's from the West Coast, he has more of a East Coast, up North kind of flavor to him. You know, he's definitely a great lyricist, and uh, and he freestyles a lot of uh, a lot of his stuff. So uh, definitely check him out. All right, now uh, let me go on ahead and do this. Um, basically, what led me to Jay Moore's uh, podcast is I was just doing a Google search, well not a Google search, like a YouTube search, and just searching for, uh, at first I was searching for SNL uh, podcasts and things like that, if I could find other ones, um, and then you know what I ran across was uh, interviews of, uh, of past and present SNL cast members on radio shows, like Jay Farrell was on a few urban stations and things like that, talking about you know him being on Saturday Night Live, and you know, and Taron Killam was on Artie Lang, and and you know, I found a few Howard Stern interviews where he had Bill Hader as a guest, Bobby Moynihan, JB Smoove, you know, David Tell, things like that, and I was just you know, I was listening to him, and I was just in that mood, just you know, I just want to hear what they have to say. You know, because, you know, I'm a fan of SNL and anything surrounding, anything about SNL. So the writers and cast members are on these podcasts doing interviews. I was like, oh, let me check this out. And, I mean, and on these radio shows and stuff like that, too. You know, and uh, and, and what kept coming up in the search results, not only, you know, podcasts, but, uh, you know, I also did a Google search. Shoot. I'm, why am I tongue-tied? I keep doing this. I should be used to uh, talking by now. I've been doing a, this, done a, like a hundred something podcasts. <laughs> uh, I also put myself into the Google search too. Just some guy named Jay and podcasts and see what will come up. Um, you know, because you know my stuff is gonna come up. And uh, you know, and and what came up in those search results as well as my stuff is you know Jay Moore's podcast because you know my name is Jay, his name is Jay. I, he was on SNL, he talks about SNL, and, you know, I talk about SNL as well. So, uh, you know, and I, at first I was a little hesitant to really click on his, you know, material because, you know, I, I wasn't much of a fan of Jay Moore, but, well, I'm going to say I wasn't a fan of, of, of Jay Moore until until now. Because after I clicked on, you know, and listened to a, a couple of his podcasts and some of the interviews that he did, I was like, oh, my God. I was sleeping on Jay Moore. Jay Moore is he's 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 very funny and he's very talented. I mean and, and I mean you know even when he was on SNL, you know I, I knew you know he he was he's a you know kind of funny. He's one of those guys I could take or leave. You know not really a a guy that I was a really huge fan of, but not somebody that I thought was just awful or anything either. You know and and. You know, and plus I've seen him on on other things. I maybe seen like one or two episodes of Action, you know, and it was all right to me. Um, you know, when I, you know, I, Last Comic Standing, he was he was okay. I like Last Comic Standing because of the people competing, not necessarily because of Jay Moore was uh was the host or anything. You know, and and you know, you know his appearances here and there, his Christopher Walken impersonation, never really peeped his stand up like that until after I heard more stories. And more stories that really, I was like, wow, this dude is, he's funny. He's a good storytelling uh, comedian. He has great stories. And uh, you know what I want to say about storytelling comedians? How come all the funny and interesting things happen to uh, the good storytelling <laughs> comedians? You know, like, uh, how come just the average Joe down the block, you know, he doesn't have, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I guess he does have funny stories, but he just don't have an outlet. Who like who who cares about what happened to average Joe down the block? You know, you know. What if there's a a, a storytelling comedian who just don't have any interesting stories? It, it just seems like all the storytelling comedians have all the interesting interactions. Oh no, you know what? I think I think that since they're good comedians, they know how to make boring stories interesting. That might be it too. Well, anyway, that's one of Jay Moore's mutant powers. He knows how to uh, tell great stories, you know. And um, 
He's also very good at, with impersonations. He's got very good impressions. I like him. Christopher Walken, uh, uh, Buddy Hackett, Norm MacDonald, Colin Quinn. He just has all these great impersonations. Um, I don't really like his Tracy Morgan that much, though, just to be honest with you. Uh, I feel like my Tracy Morgan is better than his. <laughs> and I know some of y'all listen to the podcast are going, okay, we'll do your Tracy Morgan. But you know what? Google doesn't like to monetize the videos when I start doing impersonations. So I, so I only put the impersonations, you know, I do them here and there. So, I, you know, I, you know, so if, if I could possibly get paid off this podcast, I'm not going to... Uh, you know, I'm not going to just, you know, waste, you know, just so you can hear my Tracy Morgan. But if you want to hear it, go to uh, YouTube.com forward slash two. That's the number two. Good. The word good in the, you know, in the the number four and in radio. Too good for radio. Uh, and check out, go to the uh, audio skit playlist and you can hear my Tracy Morgan. You know, I do Tracy Morgan. I did a little bit of Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, John Lovitz. Uh, my Jason Sudeikis wasn't that good, and y'all let me know that. <laughs> but it wasn't polished. I just thought I could throw him in there. You know. Well, anyway, getting back to Jay Moore. Jay Moore, you know, he's a he's a good storyteller. He's good at impersonations. Another thing he's good at is uh, he asks good questions. Like he asks very good questions. You know, with, to the guests that he makes the guests seem interesting too. Even you know what? I'm not much of a fan of Christopher Titus. You know, I never really liked, I didn't like his show Titus, and I really wasn't, his stand-up, I just, just was not feeling him like that. Not saying that he's not funny, he's just not my guy, you know, and um, and I, pl- I threw on a Jay Moore playlist, and uh, Christopher T- the interview he had with Christopher Titus happened to be on there, and um, and I was like, oh man, I'm, I might skip this, because I don't really like Christopher Titus. The interview, well, Christopher Titus, he's, he's interesting on his own, apparently, you know, because of his, you know, his interesting backstory and the things that went on in his life. But Jay Moore just knew how to pull things out of him. He knew how to ask good questions. And another thing about Jay Moore is he's good on his, he's quick on his feet. You know, he knows how to come back with quick jokes and, and quick little things to say. And that and that's great, man. I was like, wow, why couldn't he have done this on SNL? But I guess, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of comedians that were good, who didn't really get to be themselves on SNL, you know, or really get to show their greatness, you know, and the list of those guys go on and on, you know. Um, uh, what else I'd like to say? Uh, I actually have his book, too, Gasping for Airtime, um, and I didn't, I didn't buy it. It was actually a gift that was given to me, and, you know, they, you know, the person that gave me the gift, they knew how much I love SNL. Even if you don't, even if you, if you, Outside of the podcast, I'm a huge SNL freak in general. So if you just know me personally, you know that I, you know, just some guy named Jay is a huge SNL fanatic. Uh, and and I was always given the gift, uh, give, you know, given the book as a gift. And you know what? I, anybody could have wrote the book because I, I any if any book about SNL, any anybody that that uh, talks about their experience on SNL, even if they were an intern, I, I want to hear it. I don't care. I don't care if you're my. I don't care if you're Ann Risley. I don't. Oh my God, Ann Risley is one of the worst SNL cast members, I, in my opinion. Um, you know, but she, uh, if she wrote a book, I'd read it. If it was talking specifically about you know her time on SNL, how she got there, what she did, things like that. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, gasping for airtime. It's a good read. You know, um, it's not as it's not that funny to me. But I guess it's one of those things like. If Jay Moore was was uh, reading the book to me, <laughs> it'd probably be funny because he'd know how to deliver it. But just me reading it itself, it just you know. But uh, I I definitely recommend it if you're an SNL fanatic like I am. You know, definitely check it out and and you get like a good little. Uh, I mean, it's a good read. You get a good little you know perspective. I mean, things you didn't know how things you know if you didn't know how things were operated, how things went down at SNL. Jay Moore really. Uh, talks about the mechanics and things like that, uh, and, and like I said, he's a good storytelling comedian. He tells the stories really. I mean, he makes the stories very interesting. His interactions with Chris Farley. Uh, he talks about Rob Schneider and Ellen Cleghorn not being two of his fav- fav- uh, favorite people, you know, because of how they were. Um, you know, he just talks about some interest. He makes the writers sound interesting too, like Ian Max Tone Graham. I think he's a writer on The Simpsons or something like that. Um, and David, Tell, you know, David Tell's funny on his own. own. But uh, he, he just talk, he says he says a lot of interesting things. 
in his book. You know, definitely check it out. But he also says a lot of interesting things on his podcast too. It, it, it definitely check out his podcast. More stories. Uh, you know what? I would, I would actually. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of Jay Moore now because after uh, after listening to his podcast, then I started going out. You know, checking out some of his mater- some of his stand up because because uh, I you know what I I I kind of ignored Jay Moore. You know, his stand up. You know, I was like, oh, let me check it out. And, and hey, he's pre- it's pretty solid. You know, um, I prefer to listen to his podcast because I like the energy he has when he's bouncing off other people. You know, but uh, but I'm definitely a fan now. You know. Uh, I you know I even checked out his appearances on Opie and Anthony, checked out uh some of the other things he did you know just to you know just to catch up you know because because it, it was pretty solid you know, um. What else? Uh, what else I like to say about him? Uh, I'd like to see him host. I, I would definitely like to see him host SNL because uh, I think he's big enough, man. You know, I mean he's he's had. Some, I mean he's still one of those guys, like uh, he's one of those guys that headline. But he still does those underground clubs and things like that. I think he still does. I mean, because he should be doing like, I guess his name doesn't stick with a lot of people. You know, maybe that's why he's still like he's 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 done a bunch of movies. He's done a bunch of television shows, and he's still like people are still like Jay Moore. Who? What? Oh, he's the guy from Action. Oh, he's the guy from. Oh, isn't he that guy from? He's the, he's one, Jay Moore is one of those guys. He's one of those. Hey, isn't he that blonde guy from that played the? You know, and and a lot of people like I, I, you know, a lot of people dismiss him as the oh 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 I know who he is. He's that guy that does that Christopher Walken. Yeah, he's that guy. Whatever that guy, you know. Um, but Jay Moore, man. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Enough about that. I love to see him host. Uh, I'm definitely a fan now. Um, another thing I'd like to add to that is uh, oh, another thing I'd like to say that that that, that re- really impressed me about Jay Moore. He's kind of a hip hop head too. Well, I don't know. I don't think hip hop head is the word, but he's one of those guys. Like he's he's into. Uh, he seems to be from from some of the things that he's point referenced. He's into like the underground hip hop, like DJ, like you know, like DJ Premier, Guru, Gangstar. You know, Guru's passed away now, but you know, like like Gangstar and 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 Lord Finesse and digging in the crates and all that stuff like that. You know, uh, you know, an old school Fat Joe before the, you know, before he was on MTV and all that stuff like that. He he knows about that stuff, you know, and it kind of impressed me because Jay Moore doesn't seem like a guy that would, you know, that would like that would know that, you know. I don't know. You can't. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover, but Jay Moore just strikes me as a guy that. Oh, I, oh, oh, another thing. Yeah, yeah. Jay Moore also strikes me as a guy who just doesn't seem like that's his genre of music. I mean, he, he probably listens to everything though. But uh, but he definitely he listened to hip hop. You know, he knew about you know like some obscure kind of acts and things like that that you wouldn't expect. You know, because you know they expect them to know. And you know, unless you're because even I don't know they're not they're not mainstream hip hop acts. Uh, he also mentioned uh, he also mentioned Outkast uh, Equimini's album. I think he point referenced it one time. It was uh, when he was talking to Will Sasso. I think I think that's when he point referenced. I could be wrong. Uh, he, he talked about the skit that they had on the Equimini album, the, uh, man, y'all pimps, what are y'all pimps, what are y'all genies, man, what, what they doing now, <laughs> like, like, and, and Jay Moore used that as a, uh, kind of a, I don't know, some kind of reference to something, I don't know, but I was like, wow, he, <laughs> he's talking about the skit on, a, on Equimini, that thing came out 10 years ago, you know, um, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling Jay Moore and, and what he's doing in his, uh, and his comedy, you know, he, he's got the just some guy named Jay Seal of approval, just based on uh, more stories alone. Um, and so I'm also going to go back and check out his other stuff too, you know, just to, you know, and his Buddy Hackett impersonation is good too, man. Um, oh, and his Colin Quinn. Did I say this already? I say he had a good Colin Quinn and Norm Macdonald, and I think I did mention his impersonations. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I don't want to talk over myself on the podcast. I'm like, okay, Jay, we heard this already. Uh oh yeah, and speaking of hip hop, when I saw my hip hop heads and stuff, you're if you're a hip hop uh, hip hop hard <laughs> tongue tied. If you're a hip hop head, definitely check out Rhyme Scheme. Even if you're not, just definitely check out Rhyme Scheme anyway. And his single four letters. I'm gonna put the music video and his promotional blog in the information box below. And you should definitely check him out. You know? Um well, that's all I like to say about uh, 
uh, Jay Moore. I was about to call him just some guy named Jay. I'm like, okay, I'm the, that's all I can say about just some guy named Jay. Well, I guess he is just some guy named Jay, the other one. <laughs> all right, well, uh, that's it. That's all I like to say. I'm just some guy named Jay, and uh, that's news to me.